Did you know that one of the most important fossil deposits of the Great Ice Age in North America was discovered here in 1870? Known as the Port Kennedy Bone Cave, this fossil deposit contains a great variety of plant and animal life, some of which have not been found anywhere else on the planet. Over 1,200 fossils representing 14 plant and 48 animal species were collected from the site between 1871 and 1896. How did this fossil deposit come about? Scientists believe that about 750,000 years ago, the ground surface collapsed into a channel in the underlying bedrock and formed a sinkhole. Plants and animals fell in, trapped, buried, unable to escape. The plants and animals trapped in the sinkhole are evidence that the climate then was warm or temperate. The landscape was thickly wooded by oak, beech, and hickory trees. Mastodon and other Ice Age animals may have come together in the forest to feed or drink, where some fell into the sinkhole. The hole remained open for about a thousand years. When the sinkhole closed, it became a time capsule, preserving remnants of an ancient time. In the 1800s, the Valley Forge area was found to be rich in limestone. The limestone was quarried and used for whitewashing and plastering, building stone, iron manufacturing, and farming. In 1870, during limestone quarry operations at Port Kennedy, a dynamite blast exposed the ancient sinkhole and the fossils inside. The first fossil found by quarrymen was a tooth from an American mastodon. Other mammal fossils included the lesser short-faced bear, giant horse, Wheatley's ground sloth, and saber-toothed cat. From 1871 to 1896, well-known paleontologists from the Philadelphia area performed excavations. Fossils were collected, identified, and accessioned into the collections of the Academy of Natural Sciences in Philadelphia, where they remain today. Excavation of the deposit ended abruptly in 1896 when a dynamite blast opened a cavern to the Schuylkill River and water rushed into the site. The exact location of the deposit was lost for 110 years. However, by examining all available documentation about the site and using geophysical survey techniques, scientists rediscovered the deposit in 2005. Today, the site is buried under about 40 feet of asbestos-containing fill, and so is closed to the public. This fill protects the remaining fossils from weathering, but also prevents further excavation of the deposit. What other incredible finds lie preserved in place, we can only wonder.